Hi, my name is Eric, and I live in my RV. It's a Class B 19-foot Dodge Ram 350. It's a one-ton, and it's really nice, and I'm going to show you a whole tour of it, everything from the inside to the outside. So come on, and let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you is all the connections that are on this side, and there's more connections on the other side. First things first, I can put a little hose in here from somebody's house, city water, and I don't have to use the water pump or the holding tank. It just takes water and pressurizes it, and everything is good. Gas tank. This right here is a shore power. There's a really long extension cord that comes out, and you can plug it into somebody's house, 120 volts. Uh, right here, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like something. And uh, this is the service door for the refrigerator. And you just pop it open like this and you can get to the back of the refrigerator uh, and service it, the igniter, everything is back there. And also under here is the propane tank. And it's got a little meter on it to tell you how much uh, propane you have left, the knob and there's little connections and everything. So you'll be able to service this as well. And that about does it for this side. All right, so we're on the other side of the van, and it's got a couple more connections. The first connection is 120 volt power lines on the outside. You can just plug right in over here in case you're out here camping. Potable water fill up. It's got a uh, it's got a lock on it, so you can unlock it or lock it, and you just fill it up with water. I think it's a 24 gallon fresh water tank that is in this truck, and also we've got a six and a half gallon hot water heater which uh, runs off of propane and it's really nice um, to have hot water is not bad in a little van like this also I think the best thing about this van is that it has a big awning that I'll never use it comes out about eight feet and uh, let me pull that out right now and here it is with the awning out um, all you do is you take this little thing out of here and you crank it and it pulls the awning in and out and then there's uh, these little feet that you pull out and they, they're adjustable so I can make this low or high or run the water off any old kind of way that I want to do that and uh, it's a really cool feature of this van uh, some of them don't have it but this one does and uh, it's okay not really for my purpose but for a lot of people who do a lot of camping this would be really nice for now I suppose that the most important thing about a camper van is the inside. So let's go in here and have a look see. It's got these double doors. These windows open. Every window in this van opens. My last van only a couple of the windows opened, but this one every single window opens. Uh, so let's go inside and check it out. So now we're inside and this is where all the driving happens. Um, it's got everything a normal truck has. It's just a normal cab. A radio, heater, air conditioner, all that stuff. Little dome lights. Um, other than that, not too, nothing too special. Uh, this truck runs really, really well. Uh, the guy that I bought it off of sold it to me in 98,000 miles. There's only 80 hours on the generator. Uh, so I, I suppose that it was used for a lot of trips and a lot of camping over the years. Um, so that's that. Let's get to the other part. Okay, here we are inside, and um, I'm six foot three, and I can just about stand up in here. Um, I think that this ceiling right here is about six feet tall, and uh, it's okay with me. I don't mind. Now, right here we have, I guess it's a control panel. You can start and stop your generator through this. Uh, you can test to see your water levels and your battery condition. Here's for the water pump when you want to uh, use uh, running water or the toilet. A hood light for the range and a hood fan for the range. And uh, that fan is obnoxiously loud. Um, I think I'm going to get in there and do something about that. Um, here we got a microwave. The microwave runs on shore power, which is when you plug in the extension cord to a normal household power outlet, and it runs off the generator when the generator is on. And now I've modified it to where it can run off my solar panels and my battery, and um, I'm going to make a video of all the different 
um, modifications that I make to this van. But So I'm not going to go through that today, but I am just going to go through the things that this van already has. Let's go a little bit further back and see what else. Alright, so this is just the side just above the range. We've got a uh, propane range here and uh, it works really good. We've got a sink, works really good. Little tiny thing for toothbrushes, little towels and stuff. Here is that control panel I was telling you about. You push the button and it tells you where all your stuff is at. This is battery level, fresh water, black water, gray water. Now, um, I know that these black water sensors, they get messed up a lot because there's a lot of stuff going on in there. And this one is definitely messed up because this thing is absolutely empty right now. And I'm going to find a way to fix that up. Once I fix that up, I'm going to make a video of how I did it. Up here we got storage for, I guess, canned goods and um, bread and little stuff that you got. Next to that is the microwave. And as we go lower, here's a refrigerator. Now this refrigerator is the coolest refrigerator I've seen in a long time because it runs off of shore power, AC, it run off of propane, or it'll run off of 12 volts DC. Um, and I leave it off right now because it's winter time and somehow that door in the other side is not quite um, insulated enough so this refrigerator stays really cool and it's a big refrigerator it's got quite a bit of space in it and that's a little non frosting freezer up there which has a quite a bit of space it's bigger than my other refrigerator for sure and it just locks up so I don't swing open and now we've got storage this place has tons and tons of storage. These drawers, you just push, pull them up a little bit and you can pull them out. I got forks and knives and ashtray, uh, little stuff in there. This one right here, you just pull on it. I got pots and pans and stuff. And there also, this, uh, this door here gives you access to the drain for the sink. Also, there's another drawer down here. Pull it up. And now I just got toiletries and stuff in there right now. And I think I'm going to leave it that way because I don't have anything to put in there. Now, we have a furnace and it runs on a thermostat. I'm going to show you the thermostat in a second. Another drawer. And everybody knows what drawers look like, socks and stuff. And uh, we've got this. This camera is not too much of a wide angle, but it's a pretty big closet here. And it opens up, it's got shelves, you can take the shelves out and hang stuff up there if you want to. And uh, that's that. Just above that, you have a built-in carbon monoxide detector. Now I had a carbon monoxide detector in my last van, um, but this one's built in and it's really nice and you can just uh, push this little button and test it. Seems like it's working. And there's another way to test these carbon monoxide detectors. I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a video about that as well. So now this is the back. Oh, and here we go. Another door on this side. This door opens up to this tiny little bathroom. Now I've got gallons of water because um, it's winter time. I don't have the fresh water tank full because I don't want. Um, anything to freeze. So I'm just using gallons of water to rinse and do stuff. It's got a little sink here. Now the sink you can pull it up and it goes into this little shower head. The floor under here, it's got a carpet. You pull up the carpet, there's a drain under there. And commode. And uh, this is a nice little commode. You flush it like this. You just pull it and it flushes everything down. And a little shower curtain. The shower curtain goes all the way around and all the way to the floor. And I don't think it'll leak. And I don't think that I will be ever taking a shower in this little thing. Because like I said, I'm six foot three. Of course, there's lights everywhere in this truck. They're all bright. They're all nice. A little window, it opens up. It's got a screen on it. Folds out. So that's enough of the bathroom. Now my favorite part, the part where I spend the most time, I'm sure, is right back here. Now, 
these vans all have different configurations of how these seats can go and how the table can go and all this. And this one is the coolest one that I've seen because you can make this anything really that you want to make it. Um, it, it. It was a bench here. That right there was empty. It was open. And then it had this dinette. And the dinette folds down. And you can actually make this folding out into an entire queen size bed. Uh, which I don't do because this is actually enough for me. I'm six foot three and I can sleep right here and it's fine and I do all my work on this table here and We've got more storage This goes all the way a bit of back. I got the uh, pants in this one shirts in this one They don't rattle when you're driving, they're quite fine. Now also, up here we've got a nifty fan, three speeds on a thermostat. So you can turn this colder and hotter, so you want a certain temperature in the morning, and once it gets above that temperature, it'll turn this fan on to whatever setting you've got this on already. And it works really nice, it's very, very quiet. And uh, I took it all apart and cleaned it, because you know how fans get. Now, we've got an air conditioner here. It sticks out the top of the roof. It's also on its own thermostat. It's got a fan setting, high, low, all that, just like a regular air conditioner. Now, this one's on shore power, and it runs on the generator. Now, like I said, I've wired this to run on my solar panels and my battery, although I'm sure that a air conditioner um, is going to take far too much power for that. So. Um, I don't see myself ever using it. I don't live in Texas, so I'll be fine. Now, big windows. This has really nice huge windows. I'm on the Delaware River right now, so you can see the Delaware River all the way in the distance. I can't see it in the camera, but I can see it with my eyes. In the distance you can see right here is the skyline of Philadelphia. And at nighttime it looks really nice. Although I'm not allowed back here, this is uh, this is somebody's land and there's no trespassing. Over here, the thermostat for the furnace. Now, this had one of those old school thermostats where you pull it this way and then it, you know, it'll turn on and off and it was so crazy, it would go about like seven degrees difference before it would turn back on again. So I went over here and I got this Honeywell um, programmable. I can program Monday through Sunday what I want it to do darn what times and uh, of course I don't do that uh, I just turn it on hold and whatever temperature I want the furnace turns on and off and it's really really great it keeps it really nice in here on the other side here this is a switch for the hot water heater like I said I've got a six and a half gallon hot water heater I can hear it bubbling and turning on right now and then this light will turn back on um, I forgot how long it takes but anyway that's that it is empty right now, so I don't even think I should do that. And under here, all these have storage underneath. There's a door there. There's a door here. I've got this door open because I have my inverter inside. And I have one deep cycle battery that goes into the floor underneath this. And then I have two more deep cycle batteries inside of here uh, along with my inverter. So I have three deep cycle batteries at about 360 amp hours which is probably plenty of what I need. Also, we've got uh, power outlets everywhere. Power outlets are cool. Those used to run only on shore power or on the generator. And like I said, I've rewired everything so that uh, everything works all the time. And more storage up here. I've got the uh, headphones, remote control, stuff like that for this TV. Now, I hate TV. I don't watch TV. I don't know what this thing is doing in here. But uh, plenty of people watch TV, so it was in here. I'm just going to leave it alone. I do watch some of the Eagles games when I'm interested in what's going on. I've got my 4G hotspot, so I uh, have internet access pretty much anywhere I go. And it seems like... Get this camera straight. It seems like that's uh, that's about it. Did I forget something? I don't think I forgot anything. This van is really, really nice. 19.2 feet long. 
It has a 24 gallon freshwater tank. It has a 15 gallon black water tank and a 24 gallon um, gray water tank and a 30 gallon propane tank. So this is pretty much everything that I need to get to work. I used to be a mechanic when I was in my old van, um, but I've since um, gotten away from mechanics and I'm into something new now and I'm making more money and I'm spending a lot more time in the van because my work is mostly on a computer. And uh, so that's my tour of my Class B Dodge RV motor home van. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. And I appreciate all my subscribers. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.